Well, there are, there are a couple of stories that I relate in uh, Creator Spirit about how the Holy Spirit can, can use the arts in rehumanizing. Um, one of those concerns a student that uh, I got to know at Belmont University. And she was a photographer as well as a religion student. And she saved up her own money to travel to Thailand and um, work with and photograph uh, girls who were in the sex trade there in Thailand, young girls, and uh, also use those photographs then to raise money to, to help those girls. Um, but that was a specific instance where um, a, a Christian woman, a young woman uh, from Belmont, her name is Sarah Bennett, um, used her artistry to you know, re-see and reframe and rename um, women made in the image of God, women that God loves, and women who have been named or imaged by the world as a commodity or as whore. Um, and she, uh, through these beautiful pictures, um, shows them to be daughter, sister, child of God, beloved. Um, and so that's an instance where art enables us to look at the same thing differently um, and encourages us to see the world under the description of God's kingdom rather than under the description of whatever, the sex trade. There's a, a woman that I've gotten to know in Nashville who um, runs a dance ministry called uh, Rejoice Ministries. And uh, the woman who runs this ministry was teaching dance uh, in kind of an upper middle class suburban community, which is a good thing to do. That's a fine thing to do. But she felt God calling her to, um, to teach dance to children in an inner city neighborhood, in a, a very impoverished neighborhood, who wouldn't otherwise have opportunity um, to learn to dance. And so she has an after school program that runs out of a, a church in a neighborhood, uh, an impoverished neighborhood, and uh, teaches young men and young women to dance. And, and um, not just kind of as a something to keep them off the street. I mean, these, these kids really dance well. They do wonderful work. And, uh, but it's, again, very similar to um, the other story I mentioned, Sarah Bennett. It's an instance of um, teaching young men and young women to see themselves differently and to think about themselves differently and a way of teaching the community to see them differently and think about them differently. So here are young men and young women who are often seen as kind of a nuisance, or troublemakers around the neighborhood, or unwanted children, and here they are moving beautifully and dressed beautifully, and they're shown to their community as something beautiful and something extraordinary, and shown to themselves as well as something beautiful. Um, and even, you know, they are taught to uh, that the movement and the shape of their bodies is something beautiful, not because they, somebody wants to possess them, desires to possess them sexually or something like that, but that their bodies, as made by God, are beautiful and worthwhile. So there's, again, an, another instance of, um, I think, the spirit um, taking up the arts and working through that to tell people the truth about themselves and to say, no, the way that your society, your culture, and uh, your uh, surroundings have, have, the things that they have told you about yourself are not true. Here's the truth about who you are. I think as a result of um, you know, the, the thinking I've done about this over the last few years, I think about the category image of God much more broadly and comprehensively than I did before. Um, and I, probably, I think about it, I guess, much more Christologically than I did before, uh, which I think is probably an obvious thing, that, that Jesus is, 
is the true image of God, um, but just wasn't something that I had had reflected on a lot before. But yeah, um, I I think you see throughout Scripture the Spirit working to recreate in us all the things that make us um, human and that God intends for our humanity. So one thing that God intends for human beings is that they should be in relationship. We see that right at the beginning of Genesis. So one of the things that the Spirit does is create community, create relationships. Um, one of the things that God intends for humanity is that we would be employed in meaningful vocation, that we would have a, a job to do. And again, that's one of the things that the Spirit does. The Spirit is the giver of gifts. The Spirit anoints and empowers people within the church to do work that's meaningful and that advances God's kingdom. Um, the intention of God is that human beings should have bodies, right? That's what we see again in Genesis, is that God forms us as material beings. And again, we see that one of the works of the Holy Spirit is to heal bodies. Now, sick people are anointed with oil, which is an emblem of the Spirit. And Jesus, who is anointed with the Spirit, is a healer. Um, and so the work of the Spirit is to restore our bodies. And, and we could go on, but in each of those instances, what we see is the Spirit restoring to human beings what God intends for human beings.